Welcome to video number 8 SQL reporting service in this video I wanted to show you like uh, you know uh, the controls what you see on the left hand side they are very much smart controls using which uh, you are very much capable of gener generating a report like it gives you a wizard and it helps you to build a report so this will be a pretty quick so right, I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the reports on the solution explorer I'm gonna say right click add I'm gonna add new item I'm gonna call this thing as a report and this is my third report so I'll say third right third report I'm gonna hit OK and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna <coughs> drag the table from the toolbox to the design view and the moment I do that it gives me uh, an option called as a data set I mean like from where you wanna query the database right so what I'm gonna say I'm gonna say is I'm gonna call this database as a third database I think I have right correctly and and then this is my third data set and this third data set is going to use a connection right now I don't have a connection right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna generate a new connection <coughs> and I'm gonna call this <coughs> connection as third connection data source third and in order to prove the connection string I need to fill in hyphen I'm sorry not the period and then cool and this is a windows based authentication so I can quickly choose test connection say ok and move on so this is cool my data source is ready and now so this wizard was waiting for me to choose a data source so I can connect to my database now I can simply write the query rather than going to you know the wizard every time so I'll say select star from customers and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get you know the 91 records I'm gonna say ok the moment I say OK, it gives me a data which I actually need. So right now you can see on third I said star, so it gave me everything which I needed. So I'm gonna put customer ID, company name, contact name. Then I'm gonna click right click and then I say insert uh, column, right side, and I'm sorry. Then I'm gonna say city. I think this would be enough to give you an idea what exactly I'm trying to do in here and I'm gonna pull this thing and I'm gonna make it a little wide and I'm save it and preview it alright so you can see the data the 91 rows at the same time oh, at the same time I can go back to my design and I can change select uh, top 20 star from ok and then save again and now I know I'm gonna get only 20 records so the option of pagination is gone right so the reporting service I mean the tool is very much smart enough to understand these things so same as the case for the matrix as well if I drag a ma matrix and I already have the data with me and I simply start putting company name I'll putting by <coughs> the city and so on so it will work out for me automatically and I'm gonna I think put a company name as there and I'm gonna put a contact name and I'm gonna save this thing <coughs> and I'll try to preview it but the report would have gone down so let me do one thing let me go up and let me get rid of this thing and let me take this guy up alright move up and I'm gonna push this towards the right and this is a special kind of report so you can see as you can see based on uh, you know this is the company name and what is this this is a company name and this is city so the people are sorted I mean like are uh, grouped based on the company name on the left hand side and based on the cities you can view the data and the contact name so preview so as you can see for this company and the Berlin city there's an employee called as Maria Anders right so I hope you got the idea this was pretty cool so like you can likewise you can try uh, these bunch of different controls and you can see how far you can go this is very easy there's no problem in case if you have any doubts or queries then please let me know via comments if you like this video then please subscribe and thank you for watching this video once again thanks a lot